From Soldiers Radio and Television, this is the Army Today, a daily feature from around the globe. Repelling might be a hobby for some people, but for these Thai soldiers, it's something that could help them save someone's life. The soldiers learned this and other skills during a search and rescue course taught by U.S. soldiers in Thailand for bilateral army exercise 2012. This safety knot is going to catch and prevent the rope from going any farther. The classic scenario is in wartime or peacetime, aircraft goes down in a remote area. You can't land another aircraft there to recover the body. If these guys could be inserted, they could use their reconnaissance or search techniques to locate downed aircraft. See, that rope's not going through. We give them some classes on uh, victim behavior so they can kind of uh, identify probable courses of actions for victims that are lost or people that are missing or people that are injured and immobile in a remote territory. And they can use these techniques to extract them, hopefully greatly improving chances of survivability. The students in the class were long-range reconnaissance soldiers and medics who support search and rescue missions. Through the loop again. A lot of the search and rescue training happened in remote areas, and the U.S. soldiers picked up some local survival techniques from the Thai soldiers. We were in the bush the other day, doing a, uh, we were doing a GPS land navigation course, and they are teaching us, you know, what essentially are survival techniques. So it's, that's kind of cool, and that kind of local knowledge is always makes better soldiers out of us, better adapt to the local environment and local culture. The Americans are part of the Washington Army National Guard's team of subject matter experts for this exercise. Tech Sergeant Michael Jackson, Fort Thonorat, Thailand. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television.